Okay, so here we are with part two of the video phosphates problems and solutions. I'm sorry that I couldn't do it any sooner. I know I uploaded the other video yesterday, but I just got home today. And now's the time for me to set this up and go ahead and install it to my system. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and put the media inside of the reactor. I followed the recommendations from the Fosband Reactor 150 where it says that only five inches of media should be in the reactor so that um, it works properly. Now, this, this media is actually um, said to be a lot stronger than Fosband media and should you should use less. However, I'm very surprised that the five inches of the media that was added to the reactor was actually half of this 500 um, milliliters of Roafos. So, you know, I, I guess maybe because in diameter the false band reactor is a lot smaller. But I've gone ahead and put half of it. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to use up this half for about a week and once my nitrates go down to zero I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the other half and put it in there and then leave it as is so um, I've gone ahead and prepared some paper towel next to the bucket I've collected RO water you can see it's very clean get that blue crystal clear color um, inside of the bucket is the maxi jet 600 I'm gonna go ahead and start out by taking this and closing it a little here to about I got, I'm gonna start out slow I've never rinsed this media so this is a learning process for me as well so bear with me people um, so it's connected to here and the output of it is in this long hose which is going into this dirty bucket this is actually the drain bucket I actually label my buckets people so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on I'm gonna take this here and connect it to this um, let me put the camera down for a second and go ahead and connect it and quickly show you guys what's going on as you can see you can hear it water is being pulled down into the false band reactor and let's see how dirty this water comes out let me let me let me go ahead and add a little more pressure to it there it is as you can see the media is starting to get wet let's see how dirty this water really looks oh, it is really really dirty you can see it's already accumulating water is slowly rising bear with me if I um, if I'm a little slow explaining this this is a learning process for me as well so let's let's open up the the flow of water a little more and there it is you're gonna see this really dirty water coming down the tube There it is. Let's give it a little more flow. There it is. This is the dirty water, ladies and gentlemen. You can see how nasty it is. This is really good media. 
I've read the reviews online. All this nasty red silt that you see collecting in this bucket is actually what is going, the phosphates is going to attach itself to this media. I'm going to continue to run it. I've seen a video similar to this one where um, it's only about two gallons of the water that you need to completely rinse this out. Let me go ahead and open it just a little bit more. You see the flow is actually, there it is, it's starting to clear up a little bit. I actually added just about half an inch more than the five inches of the false band reactor and the reason I did that is because I calculated that once all this media is rinsed out and the water comes out clean, chances are that some of the fine media is actually going to make its way out of the reactor and then eventually I'm going to end up with five inches of um, the media. You can see here it's definitely starting to clear up. Once it clears up, I'm going to go ahead and mess around with the flow. I see this water is really coming out clear now. So it wasn't that bad. You can see this bucket looking like somebody took a doodle in here. But maybe I should just, and, and, and I've only used about two or three gallons of it. And you can see here, it's really starting to clear up. But the fine sand, it's still swimming around. Let me go ahead and open this up just a little bit more. Oh, there it is, it's starting to dance. So, I just wanted to show you guys real quickly. Let me lower this real quick because I see that it's going a little too high. The entire media was actually going upwards um, this is part two of the video I just wanted to give you guys a quick um, just to show you real quickly uh, how I'm gonna drink rinse, rinse this media as you see I've done it already I will be making one more video and this video is gonna be where I'm actually going to install the phosphate reactor over on the right side of the filtration of down here of my sump. So once I get it all together and I get the proper flow, I'm gonna do another quick video, show you guys what the proper flow should be. And as you can see, it's really clearing up, but the media should be dancing. It should be like a little bit like boiling water. There it is, you see it? kind of moving around and this is what actually makes this really effective this false band reactor makes the media so effective at removing phosphates because it works like a fluidized filter bed where the water is pushed down and then has to come through the media to return back to the tank you can also use this media in a filter sock and it is recommended as per the instructions that you should not rinse it if you're going to use the filter sock. But I think that that flow right there where it's dancing is right about, it's just about right for me. So stay tuned for next video where I'm going to have this installed to my system. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, for those of you who don't have this unit and will get this false band reactor sometime in the future, I hope I've helped you out. So stay tuned for my next video. New York Stilo signing out. Peace.